Now, don't we wish we could all be a little like Sir Richard Branson? He's tried his hand at everything from music, phones, planes, and even space travel. Virgin Group, the company he founded, is made up of more than 400 companies. His personal net worth is said to be nearly $5 billion. Someone certainly has the Midas touch. Entrepreneur sat down with Branson to talk about building a business, whether it's executing a great idea or learning from your mistakes. The main thing is, if you have a, if you have a good idea for a business, you know, as I say, screw it, just do it and give it a go. And you may fall flat on your face, but pick yourself up and keep trying until you succeed. So at 15, I was uh, against the Vietnamese war. I thought it was an unjust war. I was against a lot about the way we were being taught at school and, 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 and colleges. And so we started a magazine and never thought of myself as being an entrepreneur or a business person. And you know, it became my education, it became my springboard to start a lot of other things in the years to come. I think the important thing to think about business is, uh, is that business isn't really business. Um, business is creating uh, something that you believe in. I mean, the most successful uh, entrepreneurs are people like you know, Larry Page and Sergey, who had an idea in their garage and felt they could create something called Google. In all of these um, examples, they are filling a niche in, in, in different areas and just making, uh, making living for most people a lot more pleasant than it was before. I think it's a mistake when people think of business like they're ringing up a till in a, in a shop. For most entrepreneurs, business is very creative and in a great adventure. There's no point in coming up with a great idea and, unless people are going to know about it. So one thing I've learned over the years is to use myself, which is cheap to use, to get out there and put my companies on the map. I've sunk crossing the Atlantic and trying to break a transatlantic speed record. I've crashed in the Atlantic trying to be the first to cross in the balloon. I've been dropped down a building in Las Vegas and hit the side of the building on the way down. I mean, anyway, we've gone to extreme lengths to get Virgin well known, but it seems to have worked. I seem to have survived. And it's been a lot of, a great adventure and a lot of fun in the process. And it's obvious Branson likes to have a little fun at work. He made a visit to the offices in Australia and found one employee napping on the couch. Uh-oh. Now, to be fair, it turned out that the guy was on standby and getting some much needed rest but Branson couldn't resist taking a pic. Now the funniest part is when Richard woke him up, he looked at Branson and went right back to sleep. Hope he still has a job.